So here we have another new pistol to the game which is actually the second Vladov pistol to this DLC and only the fourth Vladov pistol in all, in total. Is this the best of the lot? Well today we find out. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Light Show is a new legendary pistol to the game and this Bounty of Blood DLC and well let me tell you it's truly unique and it is an absolute utter monster. It is a must get, there's no two which ways about it. Give me some light away. So being in the Vladov pistol family, how does it contend in reality? Well to be honest it's more like the other one I've also covered which arrived with DLC, the Miscreant. It's way more like this over the Infinite Pistol and the Magnificent and trust me that is a good thing because the Miscreant is also another great new DLC weapon in which you will find that and many other new legendary guides on my channel if you do want to check them out. Just click my channel icon and it will take you to all of them. Okay so the light show comes in I believe all variants. I will admit though farming for the many days I've had early access to this DLC thanks to Gearbox. This is definitely one of the rare items I came across. Now it is a world drop but it's dedicated boss drop is the Laesodactyl who can be found on Obsidian Forest. Route to his location I will show you guys at the end. So looking at this weapon and the variants I have, you can see they differ slightly with some offering way more of a magazine size but at a cost of less damage. The highest damage one I have is this one here doing just over 13k damage. This is per shot by the way and every one ammo consumed which is interesting because when we check out this thing and how it fires we can see it's truly unique for sure as you can see it fires out four projectiles per shot that is that split apart further and further over range but it's still very suitable for close to mid-range combat for sure another thing you may have noticed is the fact we see you are dealing two counts of elemental damage that's because with every shot landed it adds close to around 50% extra cryo damage to each shot and it's why when we use a cryo version it's all one damage number a higher damage number another amazing thing about this too is also the fact it has zero recoil and i mean zero recoil you can see me holding down that trigger right here against the test dummy and it doesn't move a millimeter which is incredible the one downfall about this and every fast firing pistol is the ammo and how quickly you burn through it me personally i'm using my cut purse and my fish lap infinite ammo method so i'd never run out of ammo or run short and i normally go down this route if weapons as such are in my loadout so using this within Mayhem 10, the slaughter shaft, I can tell you, and you can probably see that this little thing is actually quite a monster for sure. And it does make light work of most of these enemies. The fact it deals two different elements at the same time works great in places like this, as you will know. This for me without doubt is definitely up there with the best pistols in the game. Yes, it's very different to pistols like the Maggie and really should be referred to as a machine pistol but I'd still say taking into account what pistols can do in this game this is definitely one of the better ones so this is obtained via any loot source upon Gihana but its dedicated boss drop is the Laser Dactyl who's located within the Obsidian Forest route to this enemy you can see on screen now so yeah guys the light show is actually a very very good weapon indeed it is now one of the best pistols in the game for sure one I feel you should definitely check out, pair it with a decent build, with the right roll, and I guarantee you it will surprise you. On that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.